So a lot of people, when they go through arguments, they only focus on their own opinions and they don't accept other people. So they just think about them and think that whatever they're saying is right. And if there's tolerance of other people's opinions, maybe the conversation would go smoother. recently with everything going on and just because like you know um, I, I have at least shared um, a bunch of you know posts and stuff on social media that I, you know I agree with and um, I've had uh, people respond with uh, negative things that, that don't even attack the post but rather attack um, the per like personally and so like those like obviously immediately I want to respond with like something not so nice um, and, and I asked someone like, like whether it be my brother or someone like, what do you think about it? And they're like, no, don't do that. And then obviously after a while, um, I think about it and I'm just like, you know what, right decision, no need to respond. And so I just ignore them. And, and I think I, I think that just makes it better because it, it, it like, I guess makes you realize like, don't even pay attention to them. They're just being a troll. Yeah, there, there was some times where like it got a little bit too out of hand, and I was like, okay, since he, he doesn't want to get it, so I'm, I'm gonna make him get it. And then it ended up with me just like, you know, alone thinking, like, does it really matter? Like, why am I trying to force my case on him if he doesn't even want to like, understand what I'm trying to say or, you know, tolerate what I'm trying to say? And I realized that I have to grow up mentally because it's really not worth it. Because if they're not open-minded to understand and take in what I'm saying, then there's no point to do it. Online, it gets kind of easy to be disrespectful or be rude. So I think tolerance is necessary because we don't necessarily understand how well somebody is at communicating that. Because a lot of things can be taken out of context can be misinterpreted. So try to look at it from the bright side. Always be positive through your comments or, um, you know, if you're gonna share something, make sure it's a positive thought or encourage people, maybe not so much negativity. I never realized how much like teachers had to tolerate students and like, not just like students that act up or anything like that, but like I ask questions so much and it's like, I go bad for those teachers and when we learned about it, I was like, wow, they're tolerating me every day asking so many questions. So it really made me think about like how much like what Evan said, we like keep people tolerate every day. I'll say that tolerance matters just because the bigger picture, um, you know, it's it's not all about you. It's about the bigger picture. What's the outcome going to be? Tolerance matters because being slow to anger ultimately creates us to be thinkers instead of doers. And whenever you put the think before the do, better things come into place. Tolerance matters because it's important to have empathy if we sympathize with others and we're careful about the things that we say and how we treat others, then I think that could make the world a better place.